Hey guys, and welcome to this week's Top 5 Plays, hosted by VV Gaming, where we feature the community's best clips of the week on any game. In our number 5 clip of the week, Tiberius is starting us off with some Rainbow Six Siege. We see Ty holding a corner on defense with an early pick in the clip. He's going to continue holding that corner and the desk to take out the rest of the enemies. He grabs two more picks with some great aim and then will fast forward just a little bit, but you can see that Ty continues to hold those angles until the attacker reveals himself, giving him that four kill round. This gameplay was really great because it shows off how much work an anchor can really do on defense if he holds his angles properly. Mm. I'll take four of the five kills. Fall asleep over their skins. In fourth place, Tej is coming in strong on Modern Warfare Search with the map shipyard. He's stuck with a 1v3, and as most of these situations normally go, the enemies decide to rush him. He realizes their plan and uses some slick jump shots to take out his first two enemies and put damage on the third before finishing the kill with his secondary. Minja is going to be taking the number 3 spot on Rocket League. He stops the ball with a great touch, setting himself up for the shot, and then he attempts to chip the defender but when it bounces towards the backboard instead, he quickly reacts with a read and a slick adjustment to the left. Of course, we're watching it back in slow-mo so that we can see Minja's little movements that ultimately get him the goal at the last few seconds of the game. The number 2 spot of the week is going to 2 Agent for you back on COD. We see 2 Agent sitting on bomb and making callouts for his team real time. He's able to pick off one enemy before looping around to kill the bomb planner. He then immediately repositions to get the third and final kill of the round. The repositioning and communication in this clip was on point. Great job 2 Agent. And week 8's number 1 spot is going to Vicious back on Rainbow Six. We see Vish holding an angle and pre-firing a melee hold to get an early kill. And then he's going to keep holding that angle. His patience here is going to get him another easy pick. Just because he's holding the angle and keeping that doorway locked down. The reason this is number one is because Rainbow Six really depends on a player's ability to be patient and work those corners and angles better than your opponent. For the third enemy, he's going to push the other window to crack that oblivious opponent who somehow has no idea where he is, and then stays dedicated to getting another operator from that melee hole. The mistake a lot of players would have made here is after maybe the second or third pick, they would have ran straight in to try to plant that bomb. Once Fish gets that third enemy pick, he's going to try to push in because he only has a few seconds left and then he secures the kill at the very last few seconds for the win. Great job, Fish. Our honorable mention this week is back with Ninja, but with a new game for top 5 plays, Monster Hunter Iceborne. We see Ninja sneaking up on a resting wyvern. He starts the engagement with a brutal smack to the head, following it up with a great chain of attacks. He grapples up to slingshot the wyvern straight into a wall, and then with that knockdown he starts wailing on its head again just to knock it back down as soon as it gets back up. Once he gets that knock, he finishes it off with a couple more hits to the head. 
Well guys, thanks for watching. That's gonna wrap up our top 5 plays of the week. If you want to see your play featured, just submit your clips to the link below. And if you liked the video, be sure to subscribe and turn on video notifications, and we'll see you next week.